Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. So for today's video, I am finally going to be trying out and swatching and using and also wear testing the new to me but not so new to the world beauty blender bounce a foundation and concealers okay so i'm gonna swatch it for you guys i'm gonna use it and then i'm gonna do a word test so we can see what this foundation will be all about okay because i do know that after the first launch they went ahead and fixed some shades that they had in there and extended the shade a little bit more so that it can cover literally everybody because the first time not a lot of people were able to use it because the shades were not so okay. So if you want to see what the bounce foundation and concealers are all about, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and first swatch the um the product. I <laughs> we started this intro in another video. It got too late and I just could not. There was no way I was going to be able to swatch and demo for you guys. So this is the first look that I did with Beauty Blender New Shades. I did not use the concealer in this video. However, I am going to be using both the foundations and the concealers in this video. Okay, so I'm going to swatch the last three shades of the foundations for you. And then I'm going to swatch the last five shades of the concealers for you. So let's go ahead and jump into the swatches. <laughs> These are the concealers swatched, okay? So from the deepest shade to the lightest shade that I have, this is 4.75, 4.70, 4.60, and this is 5.0, okay? You can see the consistency in the, like the graduation of the shades in the deepest shades, which, you know, I feel like it's, it's graduated very nicely. The, all three shades have different undertones, so these two are two different undertones. They almost look the same though, but you know, because they're not like in my range on the skin tone, I think that's why they look like that. And these are more like down my alley, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna use 4.6 as my concealer shade. <laughs> foundations swatched i have the last three foundations on this is 4.75 4.70 and this is 4.60 okay first time whenever it launched 4.60 matched my skin tone a lot better than it does now but for today i feel like 4.6 uh, 4.70 is a closer match to my skin tone 4.75 is a little too cool for me um the shades look very nice they look like i really like how they look and feel on my only issue with this packaging is when you when you press the thing it goes into this little groove over here and once it gets in there it's it cakes up because it's a matte foundation it cakes up and then it just i feel like it's gonna get messy like in order for you to finish the whole bottle by the time you get to the end it's gonna get messy so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna have to clean this bottle every few days and i'm afraid if i do that there's gonna be water the design is 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 cool but with the way it sprays out it just it that little hole like really bugs me. So the Beauty Blender says that it's a buildable full coverage foundation and it's a natural matte, wears for tw up to 24 hours, full coverage, natural finish, and it's a liquid foundation. Now the Beauty Blender Bounce Airbrush Whip Concealer, okay, is a full coverage concealer that uses hyaluronic acid and peptides to create a smooth, undetectable finish. It's a full coverage 
concealer and it's also a natural finish foundation okay i'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin using the ysl touche touche eclat blur primer this is the silver one you guys like this primer has shook me to my core I love how it feels. It feels like kind of slippery, but it's not oily. And it's just, it, it absorbs into your skin. It is a very, 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 very nice uh, primer. Ever since I started using it, I have not put it down. Like, you know, I really, really like this primer. So if you haven't yet checked it out, I will have a link down below so you can check it out. But bruh, this primer is the truth. I love it. And I'm gonna pair it with another primer I like, which is the Milk Hydro Blur Primer. It's like literally almost done. So I'm gonna mix the two together. I feel like these two together will be magic. So we're just gonna see what it could do, okay? Going in with the foundation and we're using the shade 4.70 and... My skin feels really nice with these two primers on. Um, they both feel different, obviously, but this one is the thing. It gives you this really nice feeling. I just, I cannot describe it. This is something you have to, like, literally experience for yourself. If you can go to Sephora and, like, pump uh, the tester and just feel it and put... You have, to, you have to just test it out on your skin. You would want to put it on your face after you try it on the back of your hand because it is, um, it feels so good i'll go ahead and blend the foundation in so this part of my face doesn't have any of the foundation on and this part of my face has the foundation on it looks good i feel like it's like a natural radiant I mean, it has a very nice look to the foundation itself and it feels nice too i'm gonna go in with the two concealers and i'm using the shades of 4.6 and 4.5 I'm going to put 4.5 in the inner parts of my eye and then I'm going to put 4.6 the rest of the way. I'm putting 4.55 directly under my eyes. This one is 4.60. Now well, this is my first time using this concealer and it says it's full coverage so I really should have been a little bit more careful with how much I'm applying and I'm still applying it. Wow. <laughs> So the doe fit has like one flat side and one curved side. Um, and it's a very flex, it's flexible, but it's not like wobbly, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I think this is what, I only ever put that 5.5 under my eye to brighten it up a little bit, but I could definitely go without it, okay? It's not a, it's not like necessary for it to be there. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in. And I need to be careful because when I was blending out the foundation, I wasn't careful and I got into my eyeshadow. Ooh, this is going to be a lot. Okay, I should have only used the, the 6.0. I feel like I'm only going to blend the edges of this out. Ooh, it's like burning the corners of my nose a little bit. Why is that? Hope it doesn't give me a reaction. Uh, it, ooh, a little bit stingy on the parts that I'm like trying to scratch or trying to avoid scratching. It's a little bit stingy over there. That's about it. Okay, so this is what the concealer looks like. It is a full coverage. I'm going to use the butt of this to blend out the edges of the concealer that I put down. So this is the blend that I got from the two shades that I just used. It's not a bad blend. I definitely got a little scared because I thought I put too much of 5.5 and I thought 5.5 was gonna take over, but you know, it didn't take over. So that is good. I'm gonna set my face and... Okay, so this is my finished look using the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and Concealer. I'm going to be applying gloss on top of this really, really soon. But this is the finished look using the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and Concealer. I am going to go and I will come back at... I'll come back in three hours and we can see what this looks like. I actually finished this look at... I want to say 11.30. It is now 2 o'clock. 
I was just, you know, trying to finish the eyes and everything else, but that part is done. But the skin routine was actually finished around 11 30, 12. It is now two o'clock, but what I'm gonna do is actually start timing it from now. So I'm gonna start timing it from 2.06, and then I'll come back in three hours. We can see what my face looks like. If I need any blotting, I will go ahead and blot it, and then I'll come back in another few hours so we can see exactly what my skin looks like. I'm interested in seeing if my if the foundation is gonna slip off my face because I do have oily skin but I don't expect it to control my oil like ridiculously well so and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the foundation bye hey okay, guys so this is me the time is now babe what time is it 528 so I was supposed to come back to you guys at 5 5 o'clock but the time is now 528 and my lashes are gone three and a half hours since I told you guys I was gonna come back I said I was gonna come back at three hours but you know I had to edit and upload for you guys so here we are um my skin it doesn't look oily it, it's now looking like it's glowing so I have a feeling that by the fourth hour it's gonna get you know like noticeably oily to where i have to blot my face but right now this is what my face is looking like it looks good it looks like it's glowing i've had like a few itchy spots on my face so i had to like scratch it so if you see any missing makeup that's what that is we're not super super oily and my foundation and the foundation is not turning or oxidizing into a red base on me yet so i'm just gonna leave it I will see if I can come back at the fourth hour. If not, then it's gonna be whatever time I can get back so you guys can see it. I don't know if I should blot my face right now, though. I'm gonna use the sponge that we use to set our face, and I'm going to blot my T-zone around my nose, and that's actually gonna, you're gonna see the significant oiliness and you guys saw how much powder I put around my nose. It's, it's, the oils are gonna come through. Like, it's just, there's no stopping it, you know? Okay, so this is it. I'm gonna go and I guess I'll come back for our next check-in. This is looking good still. My sisters, I am tired. This makeup is not bad looking, but I'm tired, okay? So I went, I've, I think I forgot I was doing something and I scratched my face so you can see the little mark over here but this is what my face is looking like it is now 8 30 so the last time I was here was at 5 30 so three more hours and this is what my face looks like makeup did not break up especially on my nose under my eyes it's not like creased but I do have lines under my eyes so you know you're gonna see those lines but my makeup just is not creased under my eyes my skin looks good the smile lines you can see is like not there even though I have been eating and talking and all that good stuff I am going to blot my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting powder okay you guys this thing is an oil sucker. This is what my skin looks like. Still looks intact, especially after I blotted it. Like I said, I don't expect one single product to just stop my oils completely from coming through. I expect the product to delay how soon the oils come. So that's it for me for my review for the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and Concealers. I will definitely be using these products again. Maybe not the 5.5, but definitely the 6.0 concealer, okay? Um, it doesn't look bad, the 5.5, but I was, I was a little bit scared the first time I put it on it was like I'm scared okay but it looks good so thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below in the comments if you have purchased the beauty blender bounce foundations or if you will purchase the beauty blender bounce foundation you know testing it out today I don't think the shade range is bad and the shade extensions actually added two more shades to the end of the range which is amazing if you haven't yet checked it out I will leave links down below in the description so you can check them out thank you guys so much for watching it's a really nice foundation as you can see my skin still looks really fresh as if I just did it and, and all I had to do was blot twice okay thank you guys so much for watching I love you and I'll see you guys in my next video
Bye. Bye bye.